Aaron Pryor has been known to charge out at the opening bell. Round one. Pryor with the first punch. He scores with a right hand. Up tempo right from the opening bell. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if someone gets knocked down in the first round. Pryor, perpetual motion. He is right on top of Arguello, who gets off the ropes. Crowd already starting to cheer. Arguello with a right hand that scores on Pryor, whose legs buckle for a moment. Pryor seems to be hurt. Alex went to the body and was able to hurt Pryor for a while. Which is exactly what Larry Merchant yep. was just mentioning. But my opponent will get knocked out and take a count of 8, 9, or 10. And that has been the story. First round, up the cut, the right hand, and another left hand. Arguello against the ropes. Some of those exchanges early on, he wasn't giving Arguello a chance to breathe or to set himself to throw the punch. Arguello likes to set himself to throw his punches. There you saw a left come right through Arguello's guard, and Aguayo was continually backing up. This is the first time but I haven't seen Alice go at this pace in the early round. There's a right hand by Pryor, and Aguayo is hurt. There's another right hand by Pryor, and another right hand, and another. And Aguayo gets off the ropes. Aguayo is letting Pryor fight his fight. And another right hand, and Aguayo back to the ropes again. by Pryor and an uppercut another factor also is the fact that Pryor often misses shots he did not miss many punches in that first round and he scores his first three of this one an uppercut sends Arguello reeling backward Pryor can't afford to stand straight up because Arguello gets very good leverage but inside it should be Aaron Pryor all the way that time Arguello got a right hand counter punch off and Pryor is here he is with his back to the ropes a short jolting left hand Another one. And there it is, a straight right hand. A straight right hand right to the point of the chin. I can't see this fight going over two, past 10 rounds, but the pace these guys have set from the very first rounds. And the big blows that started to land. Combination by Pryor. Aguayo takes a good right hand from Pryor. And Pryor now putting on the pressure on the ropes. Let's take a look at a combination that Pryor landed early in that fight. A clean left, a clean right, followed by a left jab that missed and a right that grazed the chin of Arguello. Still coming on, another left that lands. See, Pryor cannot do this, bro. He can't back up. Uh, Arguello gets too much uh, leverage and his presses. Counter punch with the left hand by Arguello. Pryor with a left hand of his own. Sticking left jab about changing direction with the right hand. But he can't leave that left jab out too long. He can't float his punches. Long right hand. Let's see if we can detect when that cut happened. Here's an exchange midway through the round. A clean right hand <coughs> alongside. That was a little bit short. And that was not. That hurt Arguello. Arguello holds on here as Pryor forces the attack. Wait. ...of Arguello's fight, the face, and that could have been where the cut was formed. No, we don't see it as yet. Has definitely picked up the tempo. As he knows his man's in trouble, an uppercut, he right back with the left hand. That was a beautiful combination. There was a good right hand right on the eye. And he's fighting a very intelligent fight. And a combination scores again. Doesn't hurt Aguayo, but nonetheless. Aguayo is starting to time Pryor a little bit better at the end of the eighth round. If these guys stand toe to toe, someone will go down, I feel. And a combination, three punch combination by Pryor, who's now right on top of Aguayo. And the blood above the eye has not really shown. Pryor showing that. Sort of quasi bolo punch that he says. Good combination by Pryor. Pryor trying to go to the body. Pryor with a combination. Arguello wobbles for a moment. And Pryor continues to work on the eye of Arguello. And another good right hand. Pryor now, and Arguello grab 
stopping for a moment. Pryor was able to come back the way he did after taking such a punishing punch early in the round. Comes back with a doubling up of the punches himself. A six punch combination, right? Now Pryor off the stool. Incidentally, that was the first time between that rounds that I've seen Aaron Pryor draw a deep breath. Pryor forces the attack. This is the 13th round. It is still anybody's guess. Toe to toe. There's a right hand by Pryor. Opens up Arguello for the moment. Pryor leaning into his man now. Aaron Pryor now in never, never land for him. He has never gone into the 14th round of any fight. Combination by Pryor. And a left hand snaps the head of Arguello back. Arguello is wobbling. Pryor a left jab and a combination again. And Arguello's in trouble. Arguello in big trouble against the ropes. Pryor going for the kill, trying to put him away. Arguello trying to cover up. A smashing right hand. Arguello's helpless against the ropes. Arguello's hands on his side. It's over. Aaron Pryor has retained his junior wonderweight championship. Arguello slips to the canvas. What a victory for Aaron Pryor. Incredible, Barry. Never seen anything like that before.